Hello, everybody. Hello, UNICEF team. Buona dimenaza, la mozza. Buona ziwa, UNICEF Romania. Hello, everyone. Buona ziwa. Buona ziwa. I was the first UNICEF representative to Romania when we established the office in 1991. In fact, that office in Bucharest was the first UNICEF office in Eastern Europe since the immediate post-war period. One of the first things we did was to undertake a series of studies and analyses to try to establish what the baseline was. So we looked at the social protection system, how it worked, how it didn't work. We looked at the causes of institutionalization and at the same time tried to address some of the most urgent needs of the 140,000 children who were in institutions in that immediate post Ceausescu period. La période 1993-1998 était une période importante pour la coopération de la Roumanie, des autorités roumaines et de l'UNICEF. C'est la période où nous avons signé le premier programme de coopération entre les deux parties au profit des enfants en situation difficile en Roumanie. C'était une période « exciting » comme on dit en anglais, et c'était une période très créative où vraiment toutes les forces vives de la société roumaine se sont rassemblées autour des droits des enfants. Good things generated 30 years ago, good ideas, they in themselves generate other good things, who themselves generate other good things and ideas, and so on, and that's why we're celebrating 30 years later. I was very honoured to lead the process of planning the next country programme cycle and all the creativity that that implies. First of all, and perhaps most important of all, was the commitment of the staff to our mandate, driven by their deep belief that their work was for the benefits of Romanian children. I remember the Children Living with AIDS project as being such a good example of a multi-sectoral approach to an issue. It was such a, a complex problem issue that it involved health, um, health response obviously and nutrition, but also social support, education and public communication. And it was such a good example of a team with those disciplines working together because any one of those disciplines working alone would not have been able to have any impact at all on the issue. We did what we could together with the government of Romania, European Union, World Bank and others to take out as many children out of the orphanages back to their biological families, extended families, sometimes foster care. All in all, I think we got some 80,000 children living in families again after three years. I really feel very proud of the role that UNICEF played there. When I look back, I look back with a big smile on my face. And this period has been for me both challenging and stimulating. Challenging because this was a period when Romania was acceding to the EU. And our main concern at that time was to see so many newborn babies in maternity hospitals being abandoned by their mothers without any kind of support, social support to the, those, those women. I have to say that Romania UNICEF Romania played a major role in advocating for those children. As you can see, I'm, I'm wearing one of the uh, hoodies produced for a telethon back in, was it 2010, 2011? I think it was uh, the occasion of a fundraising telethon for the floods up north. So as you can see, this uh, t-shirt is high quality, wearing well 10 or 11 years later as UNICEF is wearing well 75 years later. I have a lot of wonderful memories of that time, but I'll pick just two. The first one was the development and implementation of the minimum package of basic services and the package of quality inclusive education in Bacau. I was always inspired by the children, their families and communities, mayors, health and social workers, teachers, national and council authorities. And I'm very proud that today, most of these pilot projects have become national laws, regulations and standards. We champion child participation, together with the government, together with civil society, and together with all other member states in Europe. And children in Romania, which were formed into the Romanian Children's Board, 
led this process, led this process around Europe and came up with the first ever EU Children's Declaration. A declaration that promotes participation of children at all levels. And we did this successfully, I should say, during the first European Presidency of Romania in 2019. So I wish you all well and I thank you very much. Un joyeux anniversaire de 30 ans. Congratulations and here's to the next 30 years. 30 years of UNICEF in Romania and 75 years of UNICEF in the world. Lots to celebrate. UNICEF Romania remains in my heart. Happy anniversary. So to all of you, I wish a happy 30th anniversary. La Mutan UNICEF. And thank you to Romania, the government of Romania, civil society in Romania, the children of Romania, and also our donors. Thank you.